CFDNA has actually emerged as, an, as a very important and valuable source of uh, tumor profiling in patients with advanced non-small cell carcinoma. Um, and the technology has um, has developed in such a way that now we're able to detect um, a very small proportion of tumor that may be circulating um, at any one time. Um, so with this new technology, and you can either use next generation sequencing or digital PCR, depending on the extent of the information that you want, but you're able to detect genomic alterations such as mutation, chromosomal rearrangements, uh, copy number alterations, um, and you can even detect uh, characteristic epigenetics, um, epigenetic alterations like methylation patterns uh, of different DNA um, uh, fragment lengths. So this information on, on tumor that is tumor specific can be obtained uh, either on tissue, the way that has been done historically. Uh, but now we know that these tumors actually shed this um, this genetic information into the into circulation in small fragments um, so that you can actually detect them and uh, you may be sparing the patient from a, a biopsy uh, that they may not be readily available to have done when um, when they're diagnosed. Yeah, so so I think that at a, at a higher level, then the uh, the one thing that is enticing about this type of technology is that if a patient cannot have a biopsy done, or a patient had a biopsy that was insufficient, um, that had insufficient tumor to be able to test it, um, you can spare the patient from an, a, a biopsy and have this be the diagnostic sample where you can detect the genetic alterations that may be targetable. Um, but in addition to this, outside of the primary diagnosis, um, this is the type of um, information that is now being used for patients that are put on a targeted therapy and need to be monitored after it when that targeted therapy is instituted. Um, so this again spares the patient from additional biopsies for monitoring. Um, and then of course, another use is to be able not to monitor the disease, whether it is um, the, the, the amount of disease is, is coming up or going down, uh, but also to monitor the absence of disease and potential emergence of this disease again. So that monitoring is uh, is, is quite important uh, for the targeted therapy that is being given. So this is an important um, uh, use. Um, so I think that at this point, um, diagnosis and uh, monitoring of the patient are the, the major uses that I would think about.